Hello Thinkstars and welcome to this JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial we will get a brief uh, introduction to the programming language JavaScript and we will learn how to see our code outputs when we are working with JavaScript. So uh, JavaScript is a programming language that was created in 1995 and was made to make websites more interactive and more dynamic and to the, together with uh, HTML and CSS it is one of the three core technologies of the web. So if you've used any kind of website um, where you kind of interacted with the website or you um, had some dynamic elements on the website, you definitely came across JavaScript. So um, as we know, JavaScript is uh, used for web development. And when we are working on a web project, um, we usually have an HTML file that looks something like this. So this is not an HTML tutorial, but we will go through this um, file here to uh, understand what's happening here. So um, the HTML file starts with the um, document type declaration, which tells the browser um, what kind of document to expect. And the actual information about our website is um, nested in the HTML tag. Um, then comes the head tag, which contains the meta char set uh, tag that specifies the character encoding. And it also contains the title tag, which is the title of our homepage. Um, then comes the, the body tag, where we find the actual um, content of our web page. And here we can see the header tag h1 and paragraph pa uh, tag p with the id p1. And we also have the um, script tag. Uh, the really interesting part for us now uh, is the script tag because this links to our JavaScript file with the src attribute. And we can, as we can see, the src attribute is uh, set equal to main.js. And it's the name of our JavaScript file over here. Um, and when we link um, the JavaScript file this way, it means that they have to be in the same folder. Uh, so the HTML file and the JavaScript file have to be in the same folder. As we can see right here, this is the case. So here we can see index.html and main.js. So, um, the JavaScript file only contains uh, a comment now, which says JavaScript. Um, but we will now see how to modify the HTML documents with this JavaScript file. So in order to do so, we can open the HTML, HTML file first of all. Therefore, we can open the folder where our um, index .html file and main.js file is contains. And here we can again see that they are in the same folder. Um, so to open that, we can just double click. And as we can see, um, this opens the HTML file. So uh, my computer uses Chrome by default, the Chrome browser, but you can also open it with uh, another browser by right clicking on index.html then selecting another browser. Um, but when we do open the um, HTML file this way, we always have to reload our browser window manually when we make any changes to our files. So this method is not that convenient. Um, since we are using the code editor VS Code, uh, we can download the extension live server, which we can find right here when we go to extensions. And then we type in live server. Then um, this, this extension here um, appears. We can install it. And uh, after installing it, it's probably a good idea to restart VS Code in order to make the extension work properly. Once we did that, we can um, see this symbol at the bottom here that says go live. And when we click that, it opens um, again the HTML file. Um, 
but this uh, has the advantage that anytime we make changes to our files and we save the changes, uh, the changes appear automatically without refreshing the page manually. So that's um, easier for development. So it's a good idea to install this extension. And so now we head over to our main.js file. And here we type in our first line of JavaScript code, our first line of actual JavaScript code, uh, except from the comment. So we type in document dots writes So um, as I said, we are now um, modifying the HTML document or the HTML file with JavaScript. And this uh, line of code that we wrote here um, writes the string JavaScript is awesome to our HTML document. Um, so when we save that, now already did that, and we head over to the browser, we can see that um, at the bottom here, we added the line JavaScript is awesome. So we um, successfully modified our HTML documents with JavaScript. We can also change um, an existing HTML element. And um, when we head over again to the HTML file, we can see that there's this uh, paragraph tag that we all already uh, saw with the ID P1. And we can basically uh, modify this paragraph by um, getting the with getting the ID. We can uh, modify this um, this paragraph. So we type again documents get element by ID, and we, here we type in the name of the ID, which was p1, and we say dot nihtml because we want to change the HTML content and we say something like a great paragraph again we save that and when we go back to the browser we should see that and we do that the paragraph changed from a paragraph to a great paragraph um, so by now we have seen how to um, use JavaScript to modify our HTML files and how to view the changes in our browser. Um, however, we will often want to get some JavaScript output without modifying an HTML file. Because in fact, uh, we do not always work with HTML files when we work with, uh, with JavaScript. And a great way to do that is to use the console object which gives us access to our browser's debugging console. We will now see how that works. We type in a new line of code and just says console.log So uh, we apply the console method log here which outputs a message to the browser's uh, console and this is the most commonly used way to produce uh, JavaScript outputs. And it's especially useful for, um, for testing purposes and debugging. So when we have a look at our web page again, and we save that, so we have a look at the web page again, and we can see that actually nothing has changed. And that's because we didn't modify the HTML content in any way. But when we press Control, Shift, and J on Windows, on Mac, that would be Command, Shift, and J. Uh, this way, the browser console opens. And here we can see the message, I am in the console. Uh, inside the console, we, can, we could also input Java scripts uh, code. For example, again, we say console.log. So as you can see, it also works within the console. Um, uh, using the browser console, 
for coding is good for some quick testing, but for especially for larger projects, um, it is very um, recommended and yeah, very useful to use a code editor like VS Code. And if we do not want to use um, the browser at all for getting JavaScript output, we can also produce the output within VS Code directly. Therefore, we head over to the extensions again and we type in code runner. It's uh, this extension I've already installed it. Uh, again, you can just install it, reload um, VS Code, and you also need uh, Node.js to be installed to make this work. And now, again, we head over to the to the main JS file. We delete the two lines of code above, and we now only have this one line of code, which says console.log. Uh, I am in the console. And when we have installed this code runner extension, uh, we can just press Control Alt and N on Windows. On Mac, that would be Command Options and N. And this runs the JavaScript code, uh, and the output will be shown in the output window here at the bottom. So uh, this method um, for creating output is also great when we have a lot of code but we only want to run a part of the code and not everything. So when we add a new line of code with a different message like this, we save that. And if we run the code again with Control, Alt and N, we can see that both method messages uh, are here in the output. Um, but maybe we only want to run a fraction of our codes. Like imagine if we have a very large coding, coding project with lots of lines of code, and we only want to like output a little bit of it and not everything. Then we can uh, highlight the code that we want to output. And then we again press Control, Alt and N. And this way we only get the um, the highlighted part of the code as the output. So um, this way we are able to run only a fraction of our code, which is yeah especially useful when we are working on a big coding project. So in this tutorial, we learned uh, what JavaScript is on a base level, how to modify HTML documents with it, and how to view JavaScript outputs uh, in our browser directly and in our code editor. Um, yeah, if you want to learn more about JavaScript, um, stay tuned for the other tutorials that are being released to Thinkster. And yeah, that was the tutorial. Thank you for your attention. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something and I see you in the next one.